The 2017-2018 academic year saw growth in the programs the UOC offers, in its student numbers and in its global reach. The UOC began the Catalan University System academic year on 8th September 2017. As part of its teaching activity, the UOC provided university training through 27 bachelor's degrees, 44 university master's degrees, 4 doctoral degrees, 30 UOC certified master's degrees, and 231 postgraduate diplomas and specializations. 54,312 enrolled students, which has positioned the UOC as the Catalan University with the second highest number of students. An inclusive university that prioritizes accessibility, making it one of the most popular institutions among students with disabilities. The range of programs offered in the 2017-2018 academic year increased with three bachelor's degrees, nine university master's degrees, and one joint doctoral degree program, Bioinformatics, coordinated by the UAB and carried out jointly with five other universities. Learning programs that are internationally accredited and certified by Quality Seals. Learning was complemented by an activities program related to the great social debates with the aim of cultivating and transferring the knowledge generated at the university. Four thousand four hundred and eighty four students graduated from the UOC this past academic year. Two thousand five hundred and seventy four graduated with advanced bachelor's degrees, one thousand eight hundred and ninety five with master's degrees, and fourteen with doctoral degrees. They all now form part of UOC Alumni, a networking platform that provides continued access to the university and its services. During this past academic year, Professor Alejandro Haddad, Director of the Institute for Global Health Equity and Innovation, and Manuel Borja Villel, Director of the Reina Sofia Museum, both joined our academic community when they were awarded honorary doctorates by the UOC. In regard to non-university studies, UOC continued its commitment to providing professional training that aims to improve our students' abilities and skills. UOCX extended its range of programs with eight new advanced level vocational training cycles and two double degrees. UOC Corporate designed customized learning solutions for around 80 organizations, helping them to become more competitive. The UOC's research, transfer and innovation focus on e-learning and the future of learning and the impact of ICTs on society. And to carry this out, the university relies on its faculties and three research centers, the IN3, the eLearn Center, and the eHealth Center. The IN3 participated in international projects such as ACT, on gender equality, and in projects such as Perform and Cuidar, a cycle of talks and activities to bring science and the public closer together. Together with the Dextera Institute, the eLearn Center organized an international symposium to design education for the future. With respect to the eHealth Center, a collaboration agreement was signed with JKV in order to promote healthy lifestyle habits through the use of ICTs. The doctoral school now has 154 theses defended and 206 doctoral students from 43 different nationalities. The research center and the doctoral school's work is complemented by the research done by faculties and this year each faculty brought in a deputy dean of research, a new role. The university's commitment to strengthening this area is of key importance. The UOC has 45 research groups, 43 of which are recognized by the government of Catalonia, which focus on four fields of study. Social sciences, health sciences, arts and humanities, information and communication technologies, and seven chairs that promote knowledge in specific domains. In total, there are more than 300 researchers. The impact of scientific production increased throughout the academic year and a total of 4,133,817 euros were secured for a total of 85 projects. The Hubic platform continued to provide support for entrepreneurship, open innovation and knowledge transfer. 
In 2017, the UOC created Invergy, a company that invests in startups in the education and ICT sector that are linked to the UOC's areas of expertise. One of the UOC's priorities is to become a global university and contribute to extending education as a force for the entire public's development and well-being. We achieve this through open access to knowledge and responsible research and innovation. During this past academic year, the UOC opened an office in Bogota as a supplement to the Colombian higher education system. Ecuador has officially recognized the programs offered by the UOC and the country's Ministry of Education has listed our university among the top foreign universities of international prestige and quality. In addition, the UOC initiated a project to address the transfer of its educational model to Chile, which will contribute to improving the perception of online learning and expanding the range of courses. The UOC also promoted online mobility programs so that university students around the world can sign up for classes with the UOC. This has helped make our classrooms more diverse. In addition, 71 professors from the Universidad Cooperativa de Colombia have increased their level of training with us. Throughout the academic year, the UOC awarded nearly 100 scholarships to promote access to higher education for disadvantaged groups from around the world. The University's commitment to the 2030 Agenda was highlighted by several awareness campaigns such as the Ride to Food Week or European Sustainable Development Week, as well as by taking part in debates and conferences regarding the role of universities in achieving the United Nations 17 Sustainable Development Goals. We've brought people closer to science with activities aimed at the wider public beyond academia. Gender equality has also been of huge importance. The Equality Plan's lines of action were reinforced and activities promoted throughout the academic year, all committed to empowering women and analyzing their role. In April, the UOC's Faculty of Health Sciences was designated as one of the World Health Organization's new collaborating centers for eHealth. The university received different national and international recognitions throughout the 2017-2018 academic year. The UOC was included in the Times Higher Education Rankings for the first time. According to Hamilton Global Intelligence, the UOC is still considered the top European and number two worldwide Spanish-speaking e-learning institution. It is also the top online university in knowledge transfer according to Fundación Conocimiento y Desarrollo. As part of the new policy on having an active presence in educational networks, various UOC members took on different presidencies of CINDA, of the CRUE Working Group on Cooperation, and of ACUP and the Vice Presidency of EDEN. One of the UOC's priorities is attracting and keeping talented individuals, encouraging them to work in their own way but in line with the university's shared values. The university has 406 professors and researchers, 3,536 schools instructors and tutors, and 582 administrative staff members. This year, the UOC's budget exceeded 100 million euros for the first time. From this total, 2.64 million euros were allocated to learning resources and 3.4 million euros invested in technology. The university's two representative bodies were renewed in July. The Student Council and the University Council, who will look out for the whole community. The UOC continues to work towards being a global university with a social impact that helps people transform their lives and with the aim of increasing the training it offers, the number of its students, its research and its knowledge transfer.